Oh, it's starting to get cold here. I'm not excited for a winter like I've been saying for the past like month or so, but it's finally getting cold. It's like 50 today. 70, 75 for the last like month or so. So um, fall weather, the actual fall weather we were supposed to have is uh, finally happening and it's almost winter now in the next like month. Of course, it would be a day without getting something important, a bagel. Nice sun. Just cleaned the bike up from uh, riding the other day. It's pretty clean, but I cleaned it, then I rode it on the lawn, and then it got dirty again, so I just had to rinse it off again and then re-dry it. So uh, Ryan's over here trying to start the 50. This thing's probably not gonna start because uh, it's been sitting out in the rain for the past couple of days. But uh, that's no big deal. Uh, we were supposed to go ride today, but we didn't end up riding. It actually looked like it was gonna rain, but it's like 65, 70, not too bad outside. We should have went to ride, but uh, nobody was answering. And uh, we couldn't find somewhere to ride in general. So what are you gonna do? I think we're gonna head to Ryan's. Ryan's gonna pick up his sled, do some other miscellaneous stuff. Well, Ryan got it running for a minute here, but uh, it's sputtering, doesn't have the air filter on there still. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's been submerged multiple times and still hasn't changed the oil yet. So uh, it's probably not feeling too good. Still starts though. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing away in the garage, break the pit bike out. So me and Ryan have been riding pit bikes for the past, I'll be like 45 minutes. We made it so far back in the woods over here. We found like this little um, bridge right there. We're not really sure where or who owns this really, but um, we're just kind of just cruising in the woods. We're gonna just keep going that way, see what we find. And then uh, we probably got only like 30 minutes before it gets dark. So I'm gonna rip around for a little bit more. And then, um, I don't know, I'll probably get back before it gets pitch black and we're stranded out here in the woods. So I don't know, it's fun. Pip like keeps stalling though with this stupid six clutch springs. It's terrible to ride in the woods, but I'll have to get that adjusted this winter for uh, next season. Little 50 is doing decent because it's a lot of water. Those big wheels just kind of float over the water. And I tripped on some uh, barbed wire aligning the whole edge of the property, all barbed wire. So I'm not really sure why that's there, but I almost ate it. I'm just hanging out at the house. It's currently terrible outside. It's lovely New York weather, freezing cold. Probably gonna get snow here in the next couple weeks. But um, regardless, I wanna rip around the pit bike for a little bit. It's about to get dark here in like 20, probably less than 20 minutes. I'm gonna ride that thing before I go to Justin's house probably tonight and work on that little pit bike and I'm probably gonna bring the Z50 over because I'm probably gonna be doing a build on it here soon. So if you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the new pit bike graphics yet, um, if my camera would focus, here's the pit bike graphics. Once I take it out of the garage, I'll show you guys a little bit better. But uh, so now you can see it a little bit better in the daylight. My Instagram post that I posted a while ago, you couldn't really see the number plates and stuff, but on camera, it definitely comes out a lot better, and they're actually sick in the sun because these kind of reflect off of it, and it gives it a little sparkle. So I'll show you guys in the next couple of videos. Shout out to Traction MX. If you guys haven't checked out their seat covers, TractionMX.com, one of the best, probably the best seat covers you can possibly get for your bikes. I got it on my 250. Also huge, I forgot to mention this. The whole reason why these graphics are possible, huge shout out to Melo Graphics. I'll leave his link down below in the description to uh, the Instagram page that you can follow to get a custom graphic kit like this. You get something similar made up or uh, something totally different. So definitely check him out for sure. So I finally got it going. It's probably gonna take a little bit to warm up since it's so cold outside today. It's only like 40 degrees. <laughs> And the whole driveway is like an ice skating rink, so I'm probably gonna wrap it up here. Give Justin a call, head over to his house, and probably gotta go to Home Depot to pick up some stuff for the garage. And then I'll probably get to taking apart that little pit bike. Pulled up to a Home Depot, we're picking up some supplies for uh, Justin's garage, and uh, yeah, build a bench today, do some other stuff. All right, so we found some lighting. Uh, this is, I think it's just an LED strip. We got two of them, four feet long. Not sure how these are gonna work, but um, we're just gonna take one out at first see the lighting and then go for there. We might end up needing more, but as of right now, I'm only getting two. So now we're looking at wood for a bench to figure that whole deal out. Not really sure how big we want it, um, different thicknesses. Not really sure, like I said, 
But um, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. This is the size we're looking at for uh, as far as the bench goes. It's not too big, probably like four or five feet. We're looking for a little heater for the garage. Not really sure what we want, but um, something small because this garage isn't too big. All right, so we got one two by four and then the bench top. So I'll update you guys when we find like a heater or something. All right, I'm not sure what heater we want. Obviously, I mean, this would be ideal for the garage, but we probably don't need that. Probably gonna get some salamanders. This is only $45, so it's not too bad for a little uh, heater for the garage. We'll test this out tonight, and then uh, I'll go from there and see if I have to return it and get something better. Whoa, almost dropped it. <laughs> We're in the self-checkout. <laughs> it's not scanning. Oh my god, dude. I <laughs> mean it's not scanning. All right, cool. Should be good to go, right? Now we've had assistance. Could do it ourselves. Oh, we can pay over here? Yeah, it's self-checkout. $100. All right. Good deal. Got everything for tonight, at least. Yeah. All right, Home Depot, thank you. Next time I come in, if you ever want to hit me up with a brand deal or something, I'm down. Uh, email me. <laughs> I will uh, greatly take your discount, even though I mostly go to Lowe's. <laughs> Picked it out, Justin's gotta load it. I think that's, that's, a, that's a fair deal. I'm gonna want a bigger bench, but you know, for tonight, it'll do. Yeah. It'll do. For a bike that's not even for for a for a project bike build, it's it's okay. It's okay. So we're back at Justin's house right now. We got the little uh, sunflower heater thing on the propane tank. We're gonna do this first, then we're gonna do the lighting, and then we're gonna move on to the little workbench, whatever thing to set some stuff on over here after we get some of the lights set up. We're probably gonna just put one up right now, see how much that puts out, and then uh, we'll go from there. Um, here's step one, trying to figure out the whole heat situation. I'm not really sure if that little thing's gonna heat up this whole area, but um, we're gonna put it to the test in a few moments here and see how well it does. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go back, get another one, or just get a normal propane heater like I should have done before. But um, <laughs> whatever, this will work. <laughs> Give it a try. We might be back at Home Depot in the next like 20 minutes. So we're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> no, I may have to go inside and get a. Lighter. It's gotta be a, a whole system turn the little thing on and then it should go I don't see why not that's max yes all right well we'll see how fast it heats this thing up I guess right. kind of hot but I don't know if that's gonna heat this whole thing up. okay so we got the heater going and then we got the first light up here I'm not sure if you can tell how much more it brightens this thing up but from that one light we definitely almost have enough light to work on the bike, but we're putting one more over where we're gonna put the uh, workbench. And uh, yeah, it should be fine, honestly. I'll turn it off and then I'll show you the comparison. So here's the light off. A lot darker in here. Turn this on. Boom. And uh, yeah, we're dialed. All right, so here's the setup now. We got the second light set up connected to that light. So they're all in whatever you pull this, they both come on, whatever. Um, I'm not sure if that should be a little bit higher so then the light kind of comes out more. I don't know if I'm just stupid or not. Probably just gonna end up leaving it. And uh, next step is to build this little workbench or whatever to set stuff on so we're not setting it on the ground and not, ha because I don't want like a plastic table, I just have something set up. So I was taking a closer look at the bike here the other night and it looks like, if you look at the swing arm back here, the chain must have popped off. It jacked up the swing arm a little bit. And then uh, coming up here, it looks like, like the case is broken down here. It snapped off. And uh, from the case saver, it must be, it must have whipped around, snapped that off. You can't thread another one in there and that, I don't know if you can see it, it's broken off right down there. And then uh, this is all zip tied up. Uh, what else, what else? Um, the whole radiators over here all zip tied up. All the plastics are zip tied on. Bunch of stuff's kind of missing. Probably, um, I'm not sure for this if it's worth it to necessarily uh, split the cases, put a new case on just for the case saver. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think I should do. If I can find one pretty cheap on eBay, maybe I'll pick one up if it's like 50 bucks. But um, yeah, I don't really know. And the swing arm, it's not too bad. It's just rounded off in the back all the way around there. My camera would focus. Yeah, now you can see it's rounded off on that whole thing. Maybe I'll find a new swing arm. Not really sure, it's kind of minimal. But um, regardless, it's a used bike, it's not perfect. But what are you gonna do? All right, so here's the workbench situation. Uh, we didn't have all the wood we needed. That's, that's only two by four we had left over, so we're gonna put some uh, little supports right there so it doesn't really wobble anywhere. But to be honest, it's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. And uh, it's probably like four feet wide. 
you know, it gives us enough room to like kind of put the bike right in this area, put parts there, bring it back and forth. And uh, yeah, build or after, not really sure yet, depending on when I get to that, when I get all the parts in. I really decided to tear this thing down and I don't really want to tear it down unless I have like some of the parts for it. I guess it doesn't really matter. I could start stripping it down to nothing and then order parts kind of, but I want to have all the videos flow together like one new video a week. So we'll see on that. But as far as the heater goes, we might need a second one for the winter. It's not too cold today, but um, like I said, Previously, we'll have to wait until it gets a lot colder. I know this vlog was all over the place of the course of like two days, but if you guys like this more, kind of not directly dirt bike oriented, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want like a full week worth of like just straight vlogs, not necessarily riding. I'm sure there's gonna be a video within a week period of me like riding and stuff, but just kind of vlog me doing whatever I do every day. Kind of, I'll make it as interesting as I possibly can, but if you want those, give this video a thumbs up, like I said, comment below like daily vlogs or something like that. I'll try it for a week. If you guys end up liking it at that point, I'll reconsider um, what I wanna do and how often I wanna post vlogs compared to the straight dirt bike videos. Not that I'm gonna like change and not post the normal videos, like the dirt bike videos I post, but you'll just get more content from me and overall just should be better for the channel. So off of that, I'll see you guys in the next video.